What's going on people? Jam Sketch back at it. How's it going today? I hope you're having a great one. Um back, you know, took a little break over the weekend. Took a little break on Martin Luther King Day because it's MLK Day, you know. I had to take a break and uh, you know, give thanks to, you know, to the OG who made it possible for us to do all kinds of stuff. A man who dared to dream, you know, uh, who fought for the rights of people he didn't even know. You know, he just got, he's, he got up and said, "Yo, that ain't right, and I'm changing it." And that's dope. We need we get we need more people like that in the world, man. But I'm back. Boom, new daily video. Back on it. This one I'm gonna dedicate to music, yo, because it's another love of mine. Music is like just one of the driving forces. Not even just in my art in life. Period. I can't play any instruments. I wish I could. I could, you know, I could lay down a few bars. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Spit some flames if y'all need me to, but uh, we're going to say that for another video. I got a commission from uh, my homeboy DJ Dex, who uh, rocks a lot of parties here in Massachusetts. And uh, the guy, be he's all around, man, but he's rocking parties, hitting the clubs up, got the people dancing. He wanted me to sketch him as a superhero. And I said, dude, yes, keep coming with these superhero commissions and I'm going to rock them. All right. It's that simple. So um, let's get into it, man. This is how we started this one. It was a lot of fun. He uh, he was in the Iron Man, so it was very Iron Man inspired. But um, whatever, check it out. Here we go. Hey DJ, this place is about to pop. Why don't you throw on some Charlie Daniel? Nobody tells DJ Request what to play. Let them tell you what to play. They lose respect for you. They lose respect for you, you lose control. Not today. And, uh, yeah, so getting started on this bad boy, um, DJ Dex, he wanted a very Iron Man inspired uh, situation, yeah. very Iron Man inspired design. And uh, I'm like, cool, but he's also a DJ. And I wanted to incorporate that, you know? So I'm like, yo, what if his suit? Instead of like rockets and missiles, what if he fought with music, right? And he could make these like, he has these crazy speakers on him that can blast you away. You know, he has the, uh, what do you call it? The, 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 the vi would they visualize the, uh, the sounds, you know, with the, uh, I don't know, I don't know the name of it. Like, you know, you make a sound and then it, you know, the visual visualization bumps up and down depending on what sounds are being made. You know, he'll have those on his arm. It's probably visualizer. It's probably something simple like that. <laughs> um, and Big Dex, he's a cool dude. He always got his shades on, so I had to throw the shades in there. But uh, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out the composition, the pose, you know? Um, sometimes I wonder if I had a better pose before I started this one. But um, I liked it. Flying straight at you. A cool classic superhero pose. And uh, then I was just working on his holographic uh, turntables. I said, cool, his suit can give out these holograms, these turntables. They're kind of like hard light turntables, you know? Like holograms you can actually touch. And they play music, whatever sounds you like. And um, I wanted to get it, I wanted to be accurate. So I grabbed a turntable off the internet and started kind of tracing it with this hard light so I can get the exact, you know, like, uh, the exact details, you know? And, you know, he has the power to split them. He can do one in each hand. I thought that would be a cool idea. And, you know, when I'm working for clients, I like to send them stages of the process, you know? So I sent that to him, and he's like, oh, word, so your jam, he's a dope. He said, I'm loving this. But he's a DJ, and he's a professional in his craft, so he asked me what kind of turntables those were. And he even had a specific kind of turntable in mind, and I'm like, oh, snap. I gotta actually go do my research. I gotta do my homework, man. It's DJ Dex, I can't just give him any kind of turntables. I'm gonna hook him up. And um, he wanted these uh, these. Dope classic joints. I think the 1200s. I can't. I 
can't remember the, the exact name, but um, he texted to me. I looked him up, did my research, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna get some, get the joints that he wanted in there, you know. It's a dope job, man. It's gotta be a dope job being a DJ. It's gotta be a little bit annoying too sometimes, I guess. Cause you got people requesting things. You know, they get a little lit. They want to be like, yo, they, they want to become the DJ, you know. You know, they're the backseat DJ all of a sudden. But God, leave the DJ, yeah. let the DJ rock, man. If, if it's a good DJ, let him rock. Let him play his tunes. Let him get the party going the way he likes. Let him move the crowd, you know. He may take a few requests. You know. He may be nice, throw you a ball. a good dude. I did an art show where he was the DJ and he rocked the place, man. And um, so I highly recommend him. I'm gonna leave his info down below. You know, talk to the homie if you wanna, you know, get your parties rocking and all that. But um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Then I mean I hit with the details later on.